I'm not going to tell him what to do. Good. I'm going to let him choose any behavior he wants and reward it. And then what happens is, come on, bud. What happens is, over and over is, is that he starts getting rewarded for things. Good. For things that he's choosing to do, as opposed to me telling him to. And in behaviorism, there's a principle, and I, the last thing I want to do is get into this, because I have mixed feelings about myself, but we say dogs aren't capable of making choices. They will always do the thing for which they feel the strongest history of reinforcement. Always. Which I know, right? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> They're not capable of making choices. Not capable of making choices. Mm -hmm. Do humans have free will, or is our, you know, you know, is it destined by our history of reinforcement, punishment, combined with our genetic propensities? I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. Go ahead. Well, if there's food on the counter, they're going to choose to go get the food. That's. Is that a choice? Well, if a person never told the dog not to do that, and they never learned either way, that might be just their natural inclination. Because there's food, I want food. I'm going to get food. That's not a choice, though. That's their natural inclination. They're not making a decision based on well. How is this going to impact me in the future and you? And how is this, you know, is my wife going to care? They're just like food, boom. If, if you know it's going to happen, then that's not a choice at all. That's fine. I, I'm not sure I buy it either, but that's what the behaviorism principle is, right? Is that, so all I'm saying is, is that I can predict Rudy's behavior pretty well based on what he's been reinforced for in any given circumstance. You were all five-year-olds. I'm not sure how well this would work. Notice that he, he, come on, bud. He's totally got my number really bad. So he'll do this whole sequence because he knows that'll get him one, hmm. right? And there's two versions of D-O-W-N that we reward. There's the working and there's the S-C-double-T-L-E. So rather than just go to the one, he'll do them both. <sighs> <laughs> right? There's his working. And there's his cell. And by doing these kind of games over and over and over again, whether or not it's lack of choice or prediction based on reinforcement or whatever it is, that's by far the most likely series of behaviors that he'll do anywhere that he can. You gotta love everybody, make them feel good about themselves. You gotta love everybody, 